What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my new favorite plugin, it's called Enhancer Pro. It's literally the best plugin that's out right now. If y'all want that film look, this is the video for y'all. Let's go ahead and jump into DaVinci Resolve real quick and I'll show y'all how it works. So, right off the bat, you drag and drop the Enhancer Pro onto your, your node. I use the second node. I usually put it at the end of my, um, my node tree, whatever you uh, prefer though. Um, I haven't really tried any other way. This is what works for me, so feel free to try it. But you drag and drop it. So the really cool thing about Dehance Pro is they have different options for you to uh, go through and tweak whatever settings you want to make your footage look exactly how you want it. So we're gonna go through it right here. So click on source. They have different um, color spaces that you can go on to. They have uh, Rec 709, you know, all the basics, whatever. But then the cool part about this is that they have this option where you can choose your own camera, the one that you shot it with. So you choose your camera. I shot with Sony, so I pick Sony. I go to Alpha 7.3 or A7.3 format. I shot at HLG2, and you see right off the bat, look how much better the footage looks. This is what it looks like without the film. This is what it looks like with it on. And like just right out the gate, it already looks better. Um, I'm not gonna use this film stock, but the cool part about this is they have like tons of different film stocks that you can choose from. We can try something different today. I'm gonna try Cinesteel 800. So I really like how that looks. It looks real clean, real um, natural. The best part about this is like, you know, there's other tabs within this that you can tweak and just, you know, mess around with. So this is some other tabs that they have. They have film grain, which is what you see on it right now. Uh, it comes like already preloaded on there, like, you know, right off the bat. So you turn that off. This is what it looks like without the film grain. You see how it's, it's just clean. Uh, this is with the film grain on. Really nice, really, it gives it like more character, I feel like. Um, another thing about this is that you can change the uh, amount of grain. You can change like where the grain is gonna be at. Like if you want less grain in your shadows, you can change that. You know, you can slide this down can like de uh, decrease the shadows uh, or the grain in the shadows. You can decrease the grain in the mid-tones. You can boost it in the high, uh, highlights or decrease it, same thing for the other ones. I'm just messing around with it right now. I don't really have a direction for this. But um, yeah, so like, but most of the time whenever I'm using this, I like to use it with uh, like a minimal amount of grain because I like my stuff to be, you know, um, not too overbearing so I like to put the amount at like 10 so I'm gonna have to put that at 10 and then everything else I like to put film resolution all the way up to 100 so you see how like it's really um, really minimal but you can still tell that there's green on there so I'm gonna turn it off that's with it off this is with it on I think it gives it like a really nice look um, very vintage very uh, film like so the other cool thing about this is that they have halation and bloom. And to be, um, I don't wanna get technical with it. I don't know the technical terms of what halation really is, but just to give you like a, a, a brief um, visual, halation is the, is the uh, red glow that you see around here. You see this? I'll amplify it some more so you can see it a little more. This is the red glow, I mean the halation. The halation is the red glow that you see right here on the edge. It gives it like that really retro, vintage filmic type of look. And you know, depending on what you go, what you're going for, it'll, I think it looks nice. Like, even if it's uh, just very minimal, like, you know, put it back to where it was, like, you know, it's, it's very faint, but it gives it that extra character that I really like. And the bloom, like I was saying earlier, which is another effect that comes in the Hanson Pro, and it gives it like a diffused look. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. Um, basically, it's like a, it's like acting like a Promis filter if you were to have a Promis filter on your lens. But I like this a little bit better because it's not like you you don't have to commit to it right away. Like with a with a lens filter, you got to commit to it. You put it on there. It's on there. Whatever you shot, that's what it's that's what it is. It's baked in there. This you can dial it in as much as you want. You can put as little as you want. You can do whatever, like, you know, I'll mess around with it right now just so you don't get a, get a, a quick view of it. So this is with it on, like just straight off. Um, so amplify it, see how much, like you see how more intense the glow looks. If that's what you're going for, then go ahead by all means. 
I don't like it that much, or I don't like it to be that heavy. Um, so I like to dial this back a little bit. I'll put it at like, like maybe like 30 or something, depending on the look that I'm going for. I haven't really messed around with too many of the sliders on there. The most I usually mess with is the amplify and highlights or whatever in the diffusion too. Like that, you know, messes with it as well. So last but not least, I usually use a vignette in all my videos. Uh, it's just a nice like touch to my videos. I don't know. I don't really have a good explanation of why I like it. It just gives it like that nice vintage look. I know I said vintage like a million times, but like that's literally what this does. And this plugin is like the best for that. If that's what you're trying to go for, this is great. Also, I didn't touch on this earlier, but there's different prints that you can use on this that'll uh, give it a different look as well. So if you use uh, let's say Kodak Endura glossy paper, it gives it this type of look or whatever. It's um, it's more uh, contrasty in my opinion. Same with the other ones. Uh, they just give it a slightly different like color. Uh, so Fujifilm, there's that one. Uh, here's the other Kodak 2383. You know, it's just they, there's different looks that each print gives you. I usually like to rock with the uh, Kodak Endura glossy paper. They have different. Uh, things you can do with this as well you can boost the color density you see how it changes it right here you can mess with the contrast so right there and then you decrease it I'll go ahead and decrease it right there that looks good to me um wait before i end the video forgot to mention that enhancer also has an ios app you can do video editing and photo editing I've only done photo editing because I do all my video editing on my desktop. Um, they have all the same features, all the same tools, all the same everything. It's just on your iPhone instead of your desktop. Um, I think it's a subscription-based app, whatever. But I think you can get like like a free trial or whatever if you uh, if you download it and you want to see how it works. You can do that. I'll put some photos somewhere on the screen, or whatever, of before and afters of using the uh, Dehancer app. So big shout out to Dehancer. I appreciate y'all. Let's go ahead and get to that outro. Well, yeah, that's really it, guys. I don't really have anything bad to say about this plugin. It's a great plugin. They uh, they pretty much like give you all the tools necessary that you need to you know edit and tweak anything to your liking if y'all want to get this uh plug in there's going to be a link in my description there's also going to be a code that y'all can use i'll put it right here uh, I'll give you 10 percent off so i appreciate y'all uh thank you for watching the video and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace